hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Diz, diz, diz. Come, come here. Let me talk to you for a second, man. Woo! That was a doozy, wasn't it? That was a doozy. So shout out to all the people who are watching this video who have not seen the battle. I'll break down every round that I've sketched out to the best of my ability. Uh, you know, we did a live stream yesterday. Me and my brother Showtime SP. Talked about the whole event, crack jokes, do what we do. You guys gotta understand sometimes we have to keep that pushing along so it may sound like it's like, oh, let SP keep going. I'm like, bro, some subjects, if we get to a subject, we're talking about it for too long. My job as the quarterback of the show is to push the shit along. Sometimes we'll be like, ah, nah, all right, cool, let's just go. And he does the same thing. He's supposed to push the show along. Uh, but shout out to everybody that watched and things like that. But this, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So... You took a crash out mission versus easy, right? You had a battle versus easy, the battle went how it went. Then you jumped on Summer Madness with like a week and a half. Did you think, how did you think this was gonna go? How did you think this was gonna go? You was battling in Houston in front of a URL crowd and I said it in the previous videos, Diz does not translate well in front of a URL crowd. Oh, look here, Diz did not translate well in front of a URL crowd. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone, I like most of y'all. I wonder why we are who we are because we're able to see this two exits down the highway. I'm watching Diz, I'm saying, and, and unfortunately, at this point in Diz's career, if he's on URL, when he's rapping, the first thing they are waiting for is to see when they're gonna start booing. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. I was why that's the only thing that's in my mind. Can he get through a round without being booed? Well, let's go further. The reason why this happens is because the way Diz presents himself to the public, the way he goes about doing things, his persona. It's easy to turn yourself into a liked figure, but it's easier to turn yourself into a disliked figure. A lot of people dislike him. I don't personally, you know what I'm saying? Um, as a, as a rapper and MC and as a businessman, you know, I think Diz do what he do. I understand him. But at the same time, when you're battling on a URL stage, they don't, they don't understand nothing. They don't want to hear nothing. If it ain't cooking, they ain't booking. And they will tell you on the spot. The, the, the crowd yesterday was like the 12th man in Seattle. Like, they would boo your shit off the stage. They would no, I'm getting it off. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get it off. I'ma get it off. That's cool. Let me get my shit off. That's cool. Rio, Rio, Rio. Literally boo you off the stage. I saw people have good performances. Like Fonz was wigging. I'm like, Fonz is winning this battle and they still booing. I couldn't understand. Like it was a weird, it was, it was wild. But so Diz gets booed in his first. I think he got booed at some parts in the second. And in his third, he definitely got booed. I had real sick winning 2 1, if not 3 0. Diz comes out, he starts explaining uh, where he's from and how he had to go to a certain school and he had to change his name from Bashir to Bobby. And he was like, you know, uh, you know, Decepticons, I was dodging missiles in Lebanon. And he's like, I had to dodge a missile strike before I could write my first rhyme and all this other shit. Giving people, like, some insight into where he was from. And chicks and people was just booing it. Like, they didn't, they didn't want to hear it. What kind of shit is here? <laughs> they didn't want to hear it, bro. They were like, boo! I felt like Real Sick was finding himself inside the battle, too. He's like, the difference between 7 Eleven and 9 Eleven. I thought that that was fire. He was comparing his Hindu side to the left, Arab side. Like, he, he, it was like, your Arabs, your, your, your Hindu ain't like my Hindu. You know what I'm saying? And then, Diz said a bar like, I know we ain't the same because you got deodorant on. Listen, I, I don't never want to know if somebody, hold on. I said, I don't want to ever want to know if someone is wearing deodorant. Diz, that shit is nasty work. Secondly, he comes out in the second round with this big old muscle costume. Rah! Like, like, try, the imitations of Real Sick were cool. 
But the gimmick was was crunchy. I'm not gonna hold you. The gimmick was crunchy. It was a lot of crunchy gimmicks. Yeah, niggas up there turning the girl with basketballs. This nigga got a fucking fat suit on. I mean, a muscle suit on. It was cr this. The angle was crunchy. So he goes with that, and then uh, you know, it, it went from like low to he did his thing mid. You know, there was some moments in the second and he was taking creatine instead of creating and shit like that. And he started getting some reaction. Third round is, you could have scrapped that whole third round because he was, like I said, he was describing his life and then he used the word, he used the nigga word, sand nigga. He said, you know, they called him a sand nigga, but it's nigga. It's an er sound like it had an er on it. Like, it's, it, like you know, a lot of people had to take offense to Diz using the N word and saying nigga and all this stuff like that. I ain't with it. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he can rhyme about a thousand different things instead of creating controversial subjects. But the niggas that was there let it happen. I, I like, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time. You should say this. You shouldn't say that. You can't say this. You can't. Everybody was standing right there. Nobody said anything. So I, it's selective. You can't be picking and choosing. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. That's not what I'm here for. Um, overall, I do have real sick winning the battle. 2-1 if not 3-0. Uh, Diz just is not a URL rapper. Like he's just not that. Like he's just that's just his style does not translate well on URL. But this ain't even really about him. It's about the people who I felt like should have been on Summer Madness. Lou Castro, Swamp, Chef Trez, Danny Myers, all of them cats deserved that shot. Like he didn't even he didn't do anything to get that shot but go at easy. If y'all hate easy to block captain that much, listen, I don't love this nigga. It is what it is. If easy fuck up, I say when he fuck up. If he do good, I say when he do good. But that's in order to keep it a buck. I gotta be honest. Like, I don't make no money with none of these niggas. So if they do good, I say they do good. If they lost, I say they lost. And that's always the way I'm gonna keep it. I don't care who the MC is because at the end of the day, I can't intertwine my brand too close with any of these niggas. They lose, they lose. Fuck it. I don't care. It is what it is. They win, they win. I'm not doing that. But, um, he... You did that much for a battle, my nigga. Like, you got the battle, but you might have lost both of them. I said, if I gave this a round versus easy, I got easy winning 2 1. If I gave him a round versus sick, I got sick winning 2 1. That's 4 2 in your last two joints. It's closer to 5 1. It's closer to 5 1 in your last two joints. It's, very, it's, it's closer to 5 1. Some may argue 6 0. Rest in peace to Nipsey. Free surf. But yeah, they may, niggas may say, you doing this shit for the wave, my nigga. You, you know how it goes. You know how, you know how it goes when that shit happens, man. What was you thinking? And you went all out and you didn't even, you did everything. And, but you know what? I could tell when people's performances ain't gonna be like that. When it's a lot of promotion, a lot of shit talking online, a lot of Twitter shit, I'm like, ah. They don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be, man. Because I'm watching this shit go down and they booing you. Like, literally, they gave you like a good minute grace period to get your shit off. And then once they saw that it wasn't going wherever it was supposed to be going, oh, no. But I will say this. Shout out to the crowd. Because once you, the, the only, the people that kept the gangster was that crowd. When you said that sand nigga word, oh, you ain't get another ball off. Oh, you might as well got your check, please. Check, please. I, can I get it to go play and a check, please? Because they did not let you rap another. You didn't get to rap another word that night. They was not with it. Boo, boo, boo. They was going crazy on you. You ain't get to rap. Mm -mm. That was it. I don't want to get too lost in the sauce as far as like we're real sick. I definitely felt like he had a very good performance. Um, his first was dominant. His third was dope. His second was straight, too. I do have him winning the battle 2-1 or Gentleman's 30, uh, but I, he, he just clearly walked through disaster, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, But this is not what we didn't think was going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of envisioned this because Real Six style is predicated to what's going on on URL right now, you know what I'm saying? Disaster style, more grind time, more this, more that, et cetera, et cetera. But I would say, this is my last thoughts on it, how Diz took away from Summer Madness because after the first battle with Rum Nitty and Ace, I mean Smacks, like with one for one, I'ma keep count, that, that, shit, that count ended after that. I didn't see no two for two, three for three, four for four, four, three or five, five. 
he that that shit was over with. After the first battle, that count was over with. And it had to be over with because that Diz wet the bed so bad. It's like, bro, like, you know how many people is sitting on a bench waiting for these kind of opportunities that don't get them? And this is the politics and shit that be going on in battle rap. Because I'm like, there's so many people that deserve that opportunity. Swamp standing there on stage, nigga, you was at the place you was supposed to be. You was there on time. You was uh you was standing in the position that you were supposed to be in. You flew there. Only thing it was is you wasn't rapping. Are they giving you murder mook or loaded lux on homecoming, nigga? Like, you gotta be getting something. You got to be getting something. You just watch this nigga go up on stage, look bad for three rounds, and you got nothing out to do. Danny Myers, if Loaded Lux is coming outside, if he's not taking Rum Nitty, why isn't he taking you? He should, he honestly should be taking Danny Myers. I mean, I love what uh, Rum Nitty is doing and all of that shit. He's wilding, woo de woo de woo. But Danny Myers is the battle he should be taking. If you want to go for Flash and Pizzazz, they'll go with Rum Nitty versus Lux. That's cool. But if the bet, the actual better battle, the better battle with more build up and more history is Danny Myers. And actually, Danny Myers should get that battle if they fuck with him like they say they do. Because him not being on Summer Madness says more than it doesn't. Chef Trez not being on Summer Madness says more than it doesn't. Lou Castro more than it doesn't. Swamp more than it doesn't. You put disaster on there, and you see what he did. He took away from the event. He had niggas wilding on you. This niggas wilding on y'all all on that event. I'm not. I was. I was entertained. I'ma watch Ace versus Rum Nitty again, and I'ma watch Tay Rock versus Av. Nowadays, my expectations are low. If I get two out of five, that's good. I'm straight for the night, cause every I know every card ain't gonna be like that. Once I seen John John and T Top and Baby Mama this, Baby Mama that, I knew that battle wasn't gonna be good. I said, Oh no, nope. No, no, no. I knew it wasn't gonna be good, and it wasn't a good battle. I watched. I was in and out. I'm like, ah, oh, nah, nah, nah. Now, baby mama this and baby mama that, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And suck him up. Go back to the stage, bro. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. That's that's just. Sorry. I don't have a winner in that battle. I feel like we lost. I I, I just I don't know. It was it was what it was. Um, but this, yeah, man. <sighs> You knew this was coming, though. I mean, you, you kind of knew this was coming. I'm not going to hold you. I'm sure you were well aware from California to Delaware that there was going to be hell in here. You know what I mean? Because I, I just don't know what your strategy was. It kind of seemed to me like you was freestyling. Like, in the third, I felt moments that you was freestyling. And it definitely in the first. Once they, once they, once once the crowd got to you a little bit in the first, he's like, they fucked up my whole rhyme scheme. I can't even, oh, fuck, they fucked up my first. They fucked up my first. Then in the third, he was like, I'm gonna get this shit off. I ain't come all the way out here to not get this shit off. I ain't come all the way out. I was like, yo, this is crazy, bro. This is fucking crazy. Smack telling the crowd to calm down. The crowd was like, hell no. He said, saying, nigga, we not, we not being quiet. Ain't no way we being quiet. Smack move the fuck out the way. We ain't being quiet. That's what they said. They said, we gonna get this nigga off the stage. He gotta go. They had to get Diz out of there. That nigga got escorted out. He might have the, mm, one of the worst. Easily top five worst performances, worst battles. There's definitely the worst summer. This is probably the worst summer madness performance ever. It's up there. France, you niggas, uh, let's talk battle rap. Get the fucking work. Break down the goddamn stats. Is this the worst summer madness performance ever? Because I will say yes. I don't even want to think about nobody else. Because at least some other niggas got they got their bars off. It's one of the worst performances of the summer, besides Tori Doe with the round, 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 whatever the fuck she was on when she was stealing money from Remy that night. But uh, this, I, I can't eat that, B. I can't eat that. Nah, nah, I can't eat that. That, that, was, that, that wasn't it. You know, you talking throughout your round. Then, see, the thing a lot of y'all make is once the crowd turn on you a little bit, once you start saying, fuck you, suck my dick, and shut up, and all of that, it be one nigga. Oh, Solo. Oh, Solo. Oh, Solo. I got it for you. What happens is, can we get some light on this? Share some light on the topic. Topic, please. One nigga bring two niggas, then two niggas bring a few niggas, then few niggas bring four niggas, and we all learned at the end of the day, four niggas bring more niggas, Diz. You know what I'm saying? And I know you stood on the business. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even mad. Like, that's the only thing that I'm not mad that you stood on the business. Okay, so one nigga brought two niggas, two niggas brought four niggas, four niggas brought more niggas. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. So we got the, we got the, uh, the math right. But... Wallace fucked up what he said. He stood on it, though. He said, I said what I said. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, 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 I said it. Ain't nobody do nothing. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. 
<laughs> so why are you mad? It is what it is. He said what he said. Do I like it? No. I felt like it was a hard err in there, but it is what it is. Um, overall, Sick probably should have had a different opponent. I understand where you were going with the, you know, you're trying to get back at Easy and shit like that, because that's what this feel like is predicated off. If Diz never battled Easy, Diz wouldn't be on Summer Madness. That's just how I feel. Who am I? Let it fly. Um, we'll be back with more joints, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to uh, start with this one, you know what I'm saying? And I'll talk about some more battles during the day. But uh, yeah, Diz, uh-uh. No, <laughs> no. You got levitated, man. You didn't. You, you was not elevated. You got levitated, man. Um, Y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Whether it was two one or three zero, only round that even had any debate was the second, and it was still hella hella choppy and different pockets of flows put over here, and grabbing another set of bars, and eh, I'm out. Gang, 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 and on bang.